Hello, and welcome to another tutorial from Avid Studio Pro. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to use the title editor. So, let's get started. First I'll go to the library and I'll just give you a, a clue on how many different titles come with Avid Studio. If I just click on titles, it's going to show all of the titles here, so I'll just do that. Just to, a quick idea but anyway you can click on any of the titles on the little play button to view a preview of the title itself and as you can see there are several different titles that you can use within Avid Studio and all of these titles actually come with it so it's a Pretty handy to have all of these if you want to use them for anything, want to have a quick title to throw in and use on a project. This is really easy to do with all of these different titles that it offers. So um, I'm not going to go through and show you every single one. I just want you to get an idea as I scroll through of how many different titles come with the software. So we're still going here and it's almost at the end. But there you go, you got a, an idea of all the different titles. So what we want to concentrate on today is creating our own title. And keep in mind, what we're going to show you today, you can edit any of these titles as well with the information that we're about to show you. So we're going to go to the Movie tab, and we're just going to click on the Create Title button. So we'll open up this screen here where you have the ability to type in your text. So I'm going to go over a few things on here. First off, standard. This shows you the different standard titles that you can use and as you hover over them you see the things change within your your title. So you get a little preview of what's there and if you click to the right there'll be more different titles that you can preview. So it just gives you a lot of good standard looks and allows you to go ahead and get a look at how they look before you do them. And then shadow, if you want to add shadow, you can go ahead and add a shadow to it. So you can put your cursor over these to get a preview of those as well. Beveled looks, get a preview of those as well. And then the outlined. Once again, if you choose any of these, you don't have to keep the color, you don't have to keep anything. Once you add it to your title, you can make changes to it. And then my looks are the titles that you've saved, how you want them to be. All right, so text, pretty simple. You just type in your text as you want it. Next, you have your font styles. So there are a immense amount of font styles you can choose from as you can see uh, you got your font size you can even just click on the uh, increase font size if you'd like to do it that way or decrease font size also you have the direction so if you want to change the direction of your text you can use this to go ahead and do that Have a lot of different options there to change the direction. So your look settings, you can save a look. You can add face detail if you want to. So if you click on a plus sign, you actually have face one and face two. So there's actually another text that you have here. So you can move it to show, to add some different things to your text. So you have offset X and offset Y. And then you have the size so you can change the size of the face to your blur. If you want to add some blur to your text, face two, you can do that. And then opacity. So let's see if I move this up here and then I move the opacity you'll see that phase two starts to fade. 
So all these settings are for face two. And you can go ahead and change it how you like. And then you have a fill for face two, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So here's the main face. Once again, I can move it. Do all the same things with this as I could do with face two. If you don't like it, you can just delete it. You can also disable or enable it, so turn it off and on. And then you can uh, drag a look detail into here too. And you have your background settings. So let's talk about the fill in the background. So the fill actually fills in the text, whatever you want to fill it in with. So I'm going to make the text bigger here so you can see a little bit more of what's going on. So you can actually go to this section here. Go to your videos. And I'm going to go to my stock footage here. And I can add different videos to fill in if I don't want to fill it in with color. So let's say I want Times Square. And I just drag it over here. And I see Times Square, so if I play it, the video will actually play in there, Times Square. You can also do the same thing with the other face. So if I were to offset this, let's say I move it up, you'll see that it has it in both. I can also remove it. So let's say I only want it in phase two. And if I were to move phase two, you'll see that it's only in phase two and not in the regular phase one. And once again, I got Times Square here, but let's say I want my background to be something else. So I can actually drag something into the background. Let's say Washington, DC. And now I have the text over the video of Washington DC. So if I want my title to just show Washington DC, I can type in Washington DC, put it in there, I can do that as well. So basically there's a lot that you can do with the title editor. Let's go ahead and take a look at Go ahead and take a look at the motions. So the motions are how your titles enter or exit the screen, or you can put emphasis on it in the middle while it's on the screen. Um, a, a big piece of advice would be if you're going to enter with one specific motion, then exit with the same motion. It just looks cleaner, looks better. So let's say I did um, words from infinity. I just click on it. Now that's my entrance. You can see it down here. If I wanted to delete it, I just click on this X. If I want to change the point where it comes in, I can drag this over. If I want to change the point where it stops, I can drag this over in any direction. So basically it's like trimming the entrance. So now if I go to the beginning of the clip, you'll see that nothing happens and then it comes through. Now I want to do my exit. When I click on exit, it's going to have the appropriate one centered on it. So I'm going to click that one. I can change it to several different ones if I wish to do so. So now if I want to play the whole thing, I just go to the beginning, press play. You see them come in from infinity and now they're going to go back to infinity. If I wanted to add emphasis in the middle, I could do that. Like if I wanted to add a pulse in the middle, I can click that and now you see that this the pulse is there and I can remove that if I wish to do so. So if I go back to the beginning of the clip, press play, there's a pulsing and now it's going to go back. So pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these motions off of here. So as you can see, there are pages of entrances and emphasis and exits. 
So there's a lot of different effects that you can use on your titles within Avid Studio. Pretty simple and pretty easy to do. So that's it. How to use a title editor in Avid Studio. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you again soon.